what's up guys I'm doing a twin flame reading today it's the last day of Libra season really excited I hope that you all have been blessed by Libra season and we can look forward to Scorpio season um, to manifest blessings as well um, again my readings are my twin flame readings are about the dualities of yourself for you to become you and I to become one with ourselves, one with our masculine and feminine energies and God. You know, sometimes the story of Adam and Eve is portrayed as a man, a male and a female, but really it's about dualities of yourself and becoming one with your feminine energies and your masculine energies and together with God as it intended to be, um, as it was intended to be in the beginning of creation. My computer's messing up. I was saying, as it was intended to be, it is, it is intended to be. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's get started. See what message we get. So Libra season blessed me a lot. I have a nice, a beautiful home. One of the best homes in the city. So kind of like in shock about that, but really excited about that. And I expect so much more. So I really hope that Libra season did bless you guys as well. Hmm. This is manifestation. The, sometimes when you get the Four of Swords, it's about uh, meditation. But, I'm, you know, the Toke meaning also applies to manifestation. And I'm feeling manifestation here. Another four. Hmm. So, influx of opportunities are manifesting. With the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, the Four resonates with solid foundation. It resonates with um, security, stability, foundation, structure. Um, yeah, you know how it's like the four corners of the earth, you know, north, south, east, west. It's like four is foundation, it's security, it's stability and solid so there is an influx of opportunities manifesting for you you may not be able to take them all but it's developing and it's to put you on a solid foundation of who you are of your purpose um, a solid foundation as it materially as well putting you in a better position financially and physically and usually when that happens is so that we can do some kind of work or purposeful work so expect opportunities to manifest for you. It could happen today. Literally, life changes like so quickly. When I got my home, which was an amazing deal, like definitely a divine blessing. And it manifested. It's on my vision board and it manifested exactly from my vision board. It's so amazing. But excuse me. Sorry. When it happened that day, it was like I'm sleeping, I feel some kind of way, so sometimes I take a nap when I feel some kind of way. I wake up and decide that I'm going to make sure I'm in good positive energy, receive the phone call, hey, come look at your house. And I'm like, let me go look at this house. I know I can't afford. And that's negative, but, you know, it was kind of like practical thinking. So I went and I could afford it. It was like she made it so that I can afford it. Beautiful house. So it's like go to sleep wake up and your life changes you know and a, a phone call away your life is a phone call away from being changed it's so funny somebody um posted on instagram i gotta start answering my phone stop making you know sometimes we don't answer our phone we think it's a bill collector or somebody we don't want to talk to or don't recognize the number that could be your blessing we gotta start answering our phones not letting the devil aka bill collectors keep us from answering our own damn phones <laughs> So a lot of this came out of my hand. Exactly. Listen. Full circle. Then I literally just said, guys, and then y'all know I take the one on the bottom, Queen of Swords. All right, so, ooh, nine, six, six, nine on the bottom of the deck. You can't see it, but anyway. So, you know, I'm going to change my format of readings. The ones that I haven't pulled from yet, I'm going to pull to the side. The ones that I am pulling from, I'm going to put here. So, 
six nine was shown at the bottom and I wanted you guys to see that in nine six so anyway I just talked about influx and opportunities coming your way this it may be the last day of Libra season but it's happening now so it's like whatever goals you set for yourself it's coming full circle. Everything is coming full circle. These opportunities are manifesting and it has, it could have something to do with things that you've created. It's crazy because I was just going to write a Facebook post about the things that I've created up to my 35th year. You know, my books, um, ideas, um, just everything. And I was thinking about posting that, but I might still do it. But anyway, it's like the things that you set out to, your objectives, your goals, the things that you were trying to manifest are birthing new opportunities for you with the Page of Pentacles, the World, and the Queen of Swords for us. So our ideas, our ideas are manifesting new beginnings in our lives. Why? Because everything has come full circle. We're completing journeys. We've completed the first part, second part, third, whatever phase one of your journey is coming to a completion. And now it's time for things to start manifesting and it's going to manifest in a form of new career opportunities, new business opportunities, new life opportunities, bringing you to a better place. So whatever goals you set for yourself and objectives you set for yourself as it pertains and things that you've created, expect to receive blessings from them. And it can happen today. It will happen today. For some of us, it will happen today. I'm expecting it. Something to happen today. I don't know what's happening today, but I can Feel it in my soul that something is amazing is going to happen today. I don't know what, but something amazing is going to happen today. And it's related to the things that we've created, that I've created, that you've created. If you feel it in your soul too, that something is going to happen today, something is happening as it pertains to our creations, creative endeavors, it's manifesting. And it could be an influx of opportunities happening today or whenever you're viewing this reading. It's like, expect something amazing. And for some reason, I want to pull from this deck now. Expect something amazing. I expect something amazing, but I'm feeling amazing. Today is like, I feel like today is going to be the best day of my life. I don't know. Today just feels like the best day of my life. I don't know what could possibly happen and, you know, make that a reality, but this is what it feels like. I'm excited. I turned 35 today, and 35 is the number 8 resonating with resurrection, was resonating with redemption. Hmm. So, let's look this up. We have insecurity, isolation, impatience. That doesn't go with this at, at all. But let me read the definitions because sometimes it really does. Those words don't always be what it's all about. Blue card is about communication. Ooh, maybe there's some communication that's going to come in that's been held back from us because a person was insecure. So this could be some sort of communication. And look at that heart. Look at that heart. So someone was held back. Okay, I don't have to look this up. I still will, but it's like someone being held back from communicating with us and being isolated or isolating themselves from us or you or I, but wanting to communicate with us so that we can expect possibly some communication from someone who feels a little insecure or felt a little insecure or didn't want to communicate with us. Interesting. But why do we have impatience here? So it's like they're eager. So it's like their eagerness level. They, someone is eager to speak to Okay. I'm not sorry guys, I don't have to look it up. Someone is eager to speak with us. Someone who was previously insecure, probably still insecure, and isolated. Someone we were someone that we haven't talked to in a long time. Who withdrew themselves from us, you or I. Withdrew themselves and now wants to communicate, very eager to communicate with us. It's my birthday. Maybe they want to communicate because it's my birthday. <laughs> or I don't know, something special about today that makes them want to communicate. I have to look at the Kabbalistic message of the day. I think I read it already. I forgot it, but someone is definitely eager to speak. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Might be multiple of them too. Multiple people eager to speak with us. Ciao. 
out, you know, I had the most amazing birthday reading about, it was all about purpose. I do readings for myself in the morning. Um, and I've thought about offering a special for people who just want a daily morning reading or a weekly reading where I would charge something and just deliver a message either every morning or every week. Every morning kind of be a bit much and I don't know if anybody would want to pay that much. But like a special, like $100 and you get every week, every Sunday morning, you get a reading. I don't know. I think about adding that to my site because I had it on there before. But yeah, if you want to bust me on my birthday cash app, Ashley Gillard, I'll put it in below. I don't really like putting my cash app on there. It's kind of ghetto. But I might add it today. Six of Pentacles on the bottom of there, which we know is about equal give and take, which is about balance. Okay, so this is about our creation. And now the Queen of Pentacles is right under there. Ooh, and that's dark. This is amazing. So it's like our creative endeavors that is going to come with an influx and opportunities coming our way. So these influx of opportunities, and I'm glad I separated this because this feels like two separate things. This is influx of opportunity and abundance manifesting in our career and our life as it pertains to things we've created. And this is a this is relationship based. So this is two different things. So anyway, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of uh, Pentacles, this is like balance, equal give and take, giving and receiving philanthropy. But this is like being put in a solid foundation as it pertains to your purpose. It's like you're adding value to others with the things that you're creating, with the things that, you know, with your life. So you're put on a solid foundation of a valuable life. It could be materially, spiritually, emotionally, because you are needed to provide to others. So the value that you're giving others is bringing value to you as well. Instead of being one-sided, giving value, giving, 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 and not receiving, finally things are going to be equal. Start manifesting equal give and take in your life. Queen of Cups, Strength, Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Let me think, guys. This reading is going back and forth. I feel like this is about here. So, okay. I'm separating these readings. So when it belongs here, I'll put it here. But when it belongs here, I'll put it here. Because this is about this. The strength card, this five of pentacles, and this queen of cups. This is about emotional tranquility. So here... It's like remaining strong and tranquil and keeping your heart in emotional tranquility and at peace as things are manifesting. But as this is coming in, and even though you have to let go of something. So it could pertain to both of these readings. But it's like knowing that these influx of opportunities that's coming in or influx of offers that's coming in, you're remaining strong, you're remaining in emotional peace, even though you have to you have to sacrifice something or something has to go so this could be a person because like if I choose to be with someone I can't be with someone else because I've already chosen one this is being okay with that decision being okay with having to lose in order to win having to lose someone in order to win with someone else the strength is also my card for the tribe of Judah and leading them to redemption and light and purpose my mission, my mission in life is to lead the children of Israel to light. That's what I've been told, that I'm a remnant of the children of Israel, and I'm here to lead the children of Israel to light. Do I know exactly how it's going to manifest? No, but I know that's what my purpose is. And this five-point star is about spirit. It's about the four corners of the earth. It's about direction. It's about the light and fire, earth air, water, all together manifesting and, and blended in order for us to live our best life. And this is the circle of life. I love this. And it was $8. Eight, the number of resurrection. I love this. I don't care how much money I got. I'm going to wear this all the time. Anyway, so yeah, letting go. Um, but remaining strong and in emotional tranquility and peace, even though something has to go. 
Sorry guys, it's my birthday, so you know people are going to text me. Sorry guys. I'm keep pulling. Um then we have the star here. And, and this just wanna keep showing itself. We know that it's gonna be, and I'm gonna put it in the middle. Influx of opportunity, influx of offers, influx of communication coming from both of these. So we're gonna put it in the mirror because in the middle because it relates to both. Celebration, accomplishments, and influx of opportunities and people flowing into our life. And then I'm gonna leave the star on the bottom of the deck, which is recognition, steel resurrection. Vibes, ooh, and the tower is right in there. And the three of swords, like Libra season. Like, listen, this is going to happen. This is happening. It could happen today. But it's like, um, influx, it will happen today. Let's say that. It will happen today. Let's be confident. Recognition that you finally deserved from all aspects of your life, career, business, life, and love. And I just want to pull... I'm going to pull energy at the last. I want to pull some of this. See if I get any other energies or pull up any other energies. So we have the tower, we have the knight of air. Um, remember the tower just showed here too. What did the tower show? The tower was right in there. So the tower is showing itself again. And the knight of air. And the king of water is showing itself again. Um, no, the queen of water showed itself. Now the king of water is showing itself. So this is a pair. So this is a pair that we already knew this was about coming together with one person and having to leave back other people. Then we have the tower and the night of air. Night of air is ideas, a uh, massive change. And I think this is coming to both again. So I'm putting it in the middle. Massive change coming because of your ideas manifesting, your influx of um, opportunity ideas manifesting. But this could also be a fight up here. Someone fighting for you and, and, and changing their life or finally coming together. Um, Two towers, major changes, major changes and opportunities. This was bottom, this was um, reversed, but it shouldn't have been reversed. Um, justice. Listen, we got a lot of Libra energy in this reading. And today is the last day of Libra season. May not come when you call, but it's always on time. God may not come when you call, but God is always on time. Actually, God does come when you call. You may not see it. It's manifesting in the dark and it's coming your way. That's like moon energy. You know, our guys are with us. Our guys is with us. And when we request something, things start to manifest to move it all forward. You know, something can happen today, but it really already, it started manifesting four years ago, three years ago, five years ago, when you were born. Like, things were set in order. When you put your, when you petitioned your request, the universe, your divine guys, angels, guys, God started putting things in order for it to manifest in other people's lives, in your life, and then brings you with people who can manifest it. This is what this tower is about. It's massive change that has already started to manifest, but finally manifests physically as you can see it and touch it and feel it in the physical realm. Justice. You're getting justice. Balance. This is Libra season as well. You got the Queen of Pentacles again. Right under here, and then you have... Um, Another four, the emperor, and you have the mirror. So massive, um, yep, and a karmic right under there. Making it, leaving the old life behind and coming together with your higher self, manifesting your higher self, manifesting connections that align with your soul. This could be your divine partner. This could be you becoming one with yourself. This is all manifesting for you, providing balance and stability into your life, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and bringing you to a better place. And with justice, you're getting justice, finally, for all your hard work and dedication. But it could also still be Libra season. Still happening. This is still Libra season. Let's see what happens today. 
honestly don't feel like energy is needed after this, but I'm going to pull one anyway. Dang, so many just fell. Yes, this came out of my reading earlier. The Temple Path. The Divine, becoming one with your masculine and feminine energies is a spiritual path. Spiritual path to yourself. Hmm. This is a spiritual path to yourself. Spiritual path to abundance. Spiritual path to becoming one with your higher self. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why did this come? We have... Door to value. So we know this is coming in. But when the door to value opens and all this starts man manifesting in our life, this is what manifests as well. I just posted on Facebook the other day. Blessings come with the side of haters. I said blessings come with haters on the side. Blessings come with haters on the side. So, you know, it comes with the territory, but whatever it is, you can handle it. I can handle it. It's not too much for a giant. We can do this. No worries. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Hmm. A plus three is 11. 38 is 11. Um, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. I believe Raphael is about, I want to say love, but let's see. Yep. Love, compassion, and self-acceptance. So, yeah, your heart center. You have a greater res readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. And it can indicate a much leading healing from a pre previous broken heart. So, yeah, we can expect, I guess that will go here. Expecting healing, expecting love, expecting things to manifest as it should in, in our love life, bringing healing and bringing love. But we know that when you receive love, and blessings, there is a side of hate. When you receive value and, and money and blessings financially and materially, a side of hate comes with it as well. So be, beware of the haters, but expect blessings, expect love, expect opportunities. Thank you for watching. I wish you all love. I wish you light. I wish you more life. If you want a private reading, you know what to do. Link in the description. If you want to cash out me a birthday love, Feel free to do that. I accept that today only. And I'll put that in my description as well. I wish you all a blessed, happy, wonderful, marvelous day. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your Master Manifesto Cheat Sheet.